Hey guys, Ray from loveyourv.com. So recently I've had a lot of people ask me how I remember everything and they see our campsite and there's so many things going on. Uh, when we leave, how do I remember how to put everything away and not forget anything? So a lot of RVers use a checklist. Uh, you can use an app or a good old uh, paper copy. So I did write a blog post back in 2013 um, and uh, kind of went through and let people know what our checklist was but over time it's changed and I've actually changed my app so I thought in this vi I'd make a video about it and then I'll have a link to send people when they ask me that question. So let's get to that blog post and then I'll actually give you a list of uh, our current departure checklist. Since using and maintaining an RV involves plenty of tasks and procedures it's best to have some sort of RV checklist. You may have an excellent memory, but even the best of us forget something usually when we're tired after a long day's travel or it's dark and raining. Most likely of all, the friendly RV site neighbor decides to talk your ear off while you're setting up or breaking camp. That's usually when you forget a critical thing. Uh, many folks use tried and true paper and pen method and write out a checklist by hand. Uh, back when we started, we owned an iPad, so it was only natural to find an app and use it for our RV checklist. There are many decent apps to choose from available for most smartphones and tablets. We chose to go with one called RV Checklist by Dan Centro, uh, and it proved pretty good. Um, Anne would go through the checklist just before we departed, and I would, I would answer, you know, yes or no, did I do that, or is that done? Uh, the checklist apps comes pre-configured with standard lists you would use while RVing and some maintenance ones. Examples are arrive at site, depart site, winterization, first aid kit. You can customize each list to suit your needs and even create your own lists. Uh, the mo most important list for us is departure checklist. It's the one that prevents us from being that RV you see driving along with its TV antenna up, awning out, sewer hose and power cable dragging or even worse. <laughs> So this is an update 2022. Our 11 year old iPad has finally died and it looks like the iOS app we were using is no longer available. So I located and bought an Android app called Checklist Pro from a place called Adventure Trek. Seems to do the job. You can create, edit, or export lists in CSV format to share or edit on a computer and import them back into the app. <clears throat> So I'll just give you a look at the app and then we'll, we'll show you our actual departure checklist. So here's when you launch the app, you get this uh, page here, Checklist Pro, and you can set preferences, backup, restore, import, export. There's the about page, Adventure Tricks, uh, version 4.7, so they've been working on it a while. You can go to their website if you want to see what they're about. I think they're like a caravan outfit that does uh, RV tours uh, and in here you can hold and press and you can open departure checklist rename delete add new or add add new before or after move up or down move to bottom export checklist let's go into my checklist here and you can see all the different items we have uh, so this is what I have gone in edited for our personal uh, checklist. Um, number one we got here, indoor stuff. So this is basically what Anne usually does because she does the indoor stuff while I do the outdoor stuff. Um, secure loose items, secure cabinets and drawers, interior door secured, uh, window closed and locked, refrigerator items secured, refrigerator power. Sometimes we have it off, sometimes we'll, we'll power it via an inverter while we're driving. Depends if we have good solar power or not or whether I'm going to run the DC to DC charger. Uh, blinds anchored, uh, table in, closed sink drain, drinking water put away, uh, cutting board stowed, we have a, a big cutting board that sits on our countertop, uh, vent fans off, TV antenna down, AC and heat off, hot water off, water pump off, take out the trash, Plug in the rear view camera uh, and then pack lunch, drinks, snacks for the road and glasses, sunglasses. And then while she's doing that inside, I got my outdoor stuff. Remove and store flagpole, remove and store weather station, remove and store hummingbird feeder, uh, 
inspect the roof, make sure there's no branches or anything on there and it's all clean. Uh, remove the Starlink dish if we have it mounted on the roof. Uh, clean off the slide roof, sometimes leaves and a little bit of branches get up there. Retract the slide out room. Uh, secure the sewer tote. I, I have it strapped to my ladder. Uh, stow chairs, barbecue, fire bowl, mats, etc. All the camping stuff. Uh, stow water regulator. Uh, I have a, a bucket that I carry for garbage or washing and also my foldable ladder. Uh, retract the awning. Disconnect sewer, water, power, TV cable. Drain holding tanks. Actually, see, that one should be before that. So you can hold here and you can actually move these to change the order. Uh, that one should also be add fresh water. There, add fresh water. Propane tanks off. Retract the rear stabilizer jacks. Check the tire um, pressure and uh, lug nuts. Also, I like to have a really good look at the tires, make sure there's nothing, nothing wrong with them. And also inspect the undercarriage. Have a quick look at the suspension and all the bolts there. Uh, hitch up the truck. Perform a tug test. So I just raise the, the, I hook up the truck and raise the front jacks a little bit, and then pull on the on the trailer just to make sure it doesn't disconnect from the hitch. And then after that, retract landing jacks. Uh, store the leveling blocks in the wheel chocks. Stow entry steps and lock trailer door and storage bays locked. And then we have some that are just kind of truck specific. Uh, secure backseat cargo. We carry a lot of cargo in the backseat and I actually have a, a cargo net for that. Uh, turn on tire monitor and check the PSI. Make sure all the tires are reading the proper inflation. Attach rear view camera display. Attach GPS and set the route. Uh, truck bed cargo secure. Make sure there's nothing loose in the in the truck bed. Uh, attach the tow cable. Attach the trailer safety disconnect lanyard. Uh, make sure the tailgate is closed. Check the gauges. Check the fuel and DEF. Uh, adjust the mirrors. Check truck and trailer lights. Uh, then final walk around. And then I put in that for Ann. Give her a kiss. <laughs> and then as we pull away, I test the trailer brakes there so it says you know completed the list it's got all the check marks there um, you can change things here just by holding holding on it and pop up modify item delete add item all that kind of stuff there and you can change the categories modify the category name so it's a pretty good one clear all check marks and it's ready to go for the next time so I hope you found that useful uh, till next time, Ray from loveyrv.com. Cheers, everyone.